and welcome. Thanks for clicking on the video. This is Nate. And boy, do I got one of the nicest homes you're ever going to see. This is a North Star built home. Now this, I believe, is out of Minnesota, I believe is where it comes from. I'll put down correct information down there if I'm wrong. But uh, this is going to be three bedrooms, two bathrooms, granite countertops. That's right. You got the super nice countertops in this one. Of course, with that comes the undermount sink. Lots of high-end features on this one. This is at Big Sky Homes here in Billings, Montana. So now we don't have the siding on the ends. This is just a show model. Of course, there's some trim work that's not finished out. You know, they've got the special coverings they put on the floors when they ship the homes. We'll see that when we walk in. So keeping that kind of stuff in mind, y'all are going to want to really stick around for this. It is a modular. That's why the frame kind of looks a little different. This one has the cutout to go down to a basement. That's right. So this home is basement ready. We've got these sliding glass doors. So I really like this brown they used around the black windows with the white siding. It looks really good. We've got the overhang with lights. Now there's only a couple of them. You got them in each of the corners it looks like. But it's nice to see some lights in the overhang. And you can see that's a pretty decent size overhang. This is the 512 roof pitch. <laughs> so I'm not sure how well I showed the front of the home here, but uh, we got some more lights in the overhang. A bunch of them here in the front, actually. And this looks really good. Now, before we go in, though, you got to hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notifications. That way you get notified when I upload more super nice homes like this. And if they aren't up yet, granted, we are at Big Sky Homes. But I just came from over there and filmed some adventure homes. If they're not up yet, yeah. Montana, you got adventure homes now. But we're not going to take away from the fact that we have North Star also in Montana. They are very nice homes also. So this is what this is what you see as soon as you walk in. And you're like, what is all this wrought iron? twisted steel looking thing over here that's where your stairs are going to go to your basement there's your front door and all those windows but let's not forget we have this really deep walk-in almost walk-in closet right <laughs> at your front door here almost couldn't speak there for a second. Okay, and yes, there is a big old wire hanging right there. They don't have the ceiling fan mounted there. But look at that. What a beautiful sight. Now I will have to use my light. This is, there's, there's no power in this home. Clearly, I mean, they've got wires hanging out. <laughs> yep, there goes the train again. And 
into the dining room area, you can see the large space with the double tray ceiling. Now these are eight and a half foot ceilings, and then you're gonna go nine foot, nine and a half at the tray, or at that top portion of the tray. Of course, this is the special coverings I was talking about that they put over the floors to protect them during shipping and things like that. Look at this really nice, I'm not even sure what that is. It's not necessarily shiplap, but it looks really good. Then we come into the granite countertops. As I stated, we have drawers above all our doors. And I thought this was cool. They even designed it so you've got one right here instead of just leaving an open space. And I thought we was going to have a lazy Susan, but she's hiding out somewhere else. Is it up in this corner? Nope. Okay. Guess we don't get one in this home. Now they got the black GE appliances in this home. Of course you can get different colors, stainless steel, um, sometimes even different brands. With no power in here, that window is making that difficult to get. So we'll see what we can do here. There we go. <laughs> That window was kind of messing with the auto light feature on the camera. So let's hurry up and get past the window so we can get this down here. And I didn't even look. Yep, they're adjustable. There's your undermount sink. Now this is the black. It's not a plastic. It's not a porcelain. It's not metal. It's a composite type material. And I don't know what could possibly be behind this glass door that says pantry on it. Oh, it's a pantry. Imagine that. <laughs> Inside your pantry is also your attic access, by the way. On the very end of the home, there's one of those back doors we saw. You've got the sink and a lot of counter space in here, surprisingly. You don't usually see that much counter space in your utility room. And then of course our washer and dryer hookups. The electrical panel is behind that door. Now in here, I can easily point it out all your vents, they're not in the floor, they're at floor height, but they're coming out of the walls. And then we have the coat closet. And let me point out, these doors are really heavy. They are solid built doors.
So now that we've done that end of the home, well, half of it anyway, we'll come down here and get the bedrooms and the bathroom. Now check this out. This is gonna be a composite plastic. It's got your sink and everything all in one piece. Had to get over that rip in the paper there, but uh, we have our linen storage, and it's a nice big closet. Once again, your vent is over there in the corner, or in the side of the wall there. And there's a lot of window for this size of the bedroom. This is on the very front of the home. As you can see, the train's still going by. Y'all just saw that motorcycle go by, probably heard it. I'm not even gonna turn the volume down on it just so you can get an idea of how quiet it is in here in comparison to outside. So in the main bedroom, we also have that double tray ceiling. I tell you what, there's a lot of motorcycles going by. We're on a main highway, and I think this is a highway that a lot of people are using to get to Sturgis, because Sturgis is this weekend, I guess. <laughs> and we need a light for the closet. So on my way over here yesterday, I don't know how many people I saw towing their motorcycles. And then I happened to stop at a gas station to uh, get some gas. <laughs> and there was like so many bikers. I'm like, is there some kind of rally going on? He's like, yeah, it's Sturgis weekend. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't pay attention to that. I'm not, a, I'm not a motorcycle rider. So we don't have any mirrors. So pretend there's a mirror there. Hello, Raiden. Let's see, can you see it in the shadow? Kind of. <laughs> But you do get to see how they actually mount the mirrors. Something we don't get to see very often.
So they went with the dual sinks and it's the same style counter as what was in the other bathroom. It looks like it's a quartz material, but it's all one solid piece. Which is nice because then you don't have to worry about water leaking or getting underneath the, the sink and leaking. You know, sometimes that seal around the sink on your counter will, will get wore out and you get water splashed up there and then it drips down. You don't have to worry about that in this one. Now here's something that I saw when I walked in here, into the shower here, and I'm going to show you the floor. So they got the same tile on the floor, and then it goes up, it goes up, it goes up. I'm like, what? Where's the drain? <laughs> it's hard to see because there's no light in here, so I'm using my light. But check it out. There's your drain. Isn't that cool? Now I know it looks good and it's, you know, it doesn't, don't have this quote unquote unsightly drain in the shower, but I wonder like for hair and things like that, how is that going to not plug up when you've got hair and stuff like that going down the drain? Because we all know we lose hair when we wash our hair, right? But what I don't want you to see you do is lose yourself in the comments. Because, you know, Eminem is, he's going to lose himself and all that other stuff. I forget how it goes, but <laughs> why that popped in my mind, I don't know. But don't lose yourself in the comments. Just go down there and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the home. And don't forget to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on notifications. And I'll be back with some price information shortly. Well, all right. Now we have successfully toured the Flint at 1,704 square foot. Now this is a top of the line home. I'll tell you that right out the gate. Obviously you saw looking at it. North Star builds some really, really cool homes. In fact, I'm doing this. I edited the video earlier today. Then I watched Chance's video from tonight. If y'all haven't seen it, go check it out. It was that triple wide with the two sections going this way and then the one section going this way. North Star makes a couple of them similar to that. I'm trying to locate them. I was looking through their catalog. They got some really cool homes that I'm gonna to try to locate for y'all. I didn't realize that they had those like that until I started looking through the catalog earlier today. And then ironically, Chance puts that one out. So of course that was a champion home, not a North Star. We gotta get price information on this one. Now, as you saw, this one comes basement ready. That is the standard floor plan for this. Or if you're not going to have a basement, you can get that section taken out and then have just that much larger of a living room. And I think it actually makes the bedroom a little bit bigger too, I think is what they were telling me. It just kind of splits out right in the middle, moves the bedroom over and the living room this way. So it's a really cool option if you wanted bigger bedrooms and don't need a basement. So this one is coming from Redwood Falls, Minnesota. So there is a good distance to travel because you got Minnesota... And then you got all the Dakotas, and then you got half of Montana. It's got to come across just to get to Billings. So there's a lot of freight involved in this one. Big Sky Homes in Billings, Montana has this one at a special price. Normally, as shown, this one is $481,000. they have got it for over $100,000 off. They've got it for $365,000. As shown at Big Sky Homes, Billings, Montana, you can go get this home just like this for that price, even if they have to order it. That's right. Go check it out. So check out this home over here that I also filmed over there from North Star or whatever YouTube says you should watch over here. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.